what's up YouTube guys I, I done destroyed my last cast net so I got me a big boy net now 10 footer never thrown a 10 foot never even touched a 10 foot net but um, I like the 6 H better 10 must be even more better right so we're gonna give it a shot today so you can see this thing right here is, is a lot to manage but guys here's how I do it first time I've ever thrown this net I've never seen it opened up I, I double it right here I come down about waist high and I grab about the front half of the net maybe 50% of the lead about half of that distance there I double it and I take the lead line put it in my hand and now I open it right so I really got a lot of the net open right now probably a an eighth of the net right here already opened up and all you got to do is give it a round motion give it a shot it wasn't too great, but heck, it's 10 foot, so it's bound to catch something in there, right? Got a little bit bigger mesh size on this one. It's 5 8 inch, and uh, I don't know. Let's a lot of those smaller fish out because I don't want small baits. I want big baits. But this is going to be the hard part right here. When I get something in there, getting this thing back managed. But anyway, that's all you do. Pretty easy now. It's slick, man. It's it's brand new, so it's got just it, it feels super slick. We'll try to get back in the mouth of this cove. I don't think the fish are going to be quite back into the shallow part, but right where it starts to taper down and get deep, which is also about where all your sticks are out here on West Point Lake. Um, a lot of the bait's going to be holding down in that water. This 10 to 15 foot. Anyway, we'll fish the mouth of this creek. I mean, I'm sorry, the mouth of this cove. And then we'll go on. We'll go on back in it, see if we can find anything at all. But you got to let that thing settle. Once it settles, you want to kind of drag it along the bottom back to you. Because if you pick it straight up, that net is going to open up, and you're not going to catch any of the fish that you just trapped on the bottom of your net. All right. So far, I'm over two. This is a 10-foot net, so this has got. 10 pounds of weight. The last net I fished with was an 8 foot net. It had 8 pounds. And I've got one over here that's a 7 foot net, but it doesn't even have a pound per foot. It's got um, maybe 3 quarters of a pound per foot. So it's pretty lightweight. doesn't sink very fast. Anyway, and also throwing into the wind is a little bit tougher. You really want to throw away from yourself? Right out. Big old shiner. Last time I fished with a big old shiner, it produced a big old blue blue catfish. Some shiners. Something big in there. Let's see what we got. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Size baits. That's what I want right there. That's what we want. And they're flipping shads, scales everywhere. Let's go fishing. Wasn't paying attention, folks. At all. Get out of here. 
Yes, sir. Goodness. Dang, y'all. He's bigger than I thought. Woo. He, uh, he grew a little bit in that net. Man, alive. It's a solid fish going to be close to 30 pounds. Check out that nasty mark on its side, though. You can tell they just, they just got through spawning not long ago. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a, that is a quality fish. <laughs> just about went home. This storm rolled through and finally cleared up. Man. He's nasty. I'm interested to see how much he weighs. Some folks don't like to weigh these fish. They just like to catch them. I like to catch them, but I like to weigh them too. Dang, he is so close to 30 it hurts. 29.26. So close to 30, but he ain't 30, he's 29. Man, a good catfish right there, y'all. Good fish. Hard to tell, but I swear, that looks like a female. Her mouth isn't super big. I get a closer look at her. I thought it was a male, but I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it was fun. <clears throat> All right. You. Appreciate you. Nice. <laughs>